Okay, so in the previous lesson, we've been able to create uh, a token metadata that is supplying extra information into a token. So in this lesson, what we want to do is to create um, a token that is a token associate account. It's called ATA, that is associate token account. Now, this is this account is different from your main Solana account, but it's derived from your Solana main account. What happened is that you can't you you can't really store the uh, NFT metadata to your main account, but you have to create an associate account, an account that is associated with yours. That is where the token is going to go. I hope you understand it. So. In Solana, you don't store it just like with, uh, unlike with Ethereum, you can store the account, uh, an NFT straight up into a specific account. But in Solana, you have to create an associate account to get that token stored on that account. So that is what we're trying to do now. So let's jump into the tutorial. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this. paste this here, call it 06 underscore um, token, no, associate, associate token account. Okay, so this is going to be useful in every um, in every line of, uh, in every time that someone, you know, mints and where we mint a certain amount of token into someone's account, we need to create an associate account for them or get their already existing one. So that is what we want to achieve in this tutorial. All these things are being geared up. I'm, I'm taking you through this because at the end of this, I think I have about two more lessons after this. Then you'll be set to start integrating the full DAP. Where you have the whole wallet thing you know everything you start understanding how the ecosystem works in depth so let's get let's proceed you know and get this thing completed so what you need to do is up to this place i'm going to delete uh the rest of this thing here so i'm going to remove all this yep so i'm going to remove all this I'll comment these ones out so what what we want is we want a recipient who do you want to um who who do you intend on sending some tokens to okay the account that account you need to create an associate uh token account for that so recipient to recipient account so this is going to be one receiver's account on our platform so we have about um we're just going to get someone's account anybody's account you know for this particular reason so i'm going to just you know use this public key this is one of my accounts so i'm going to use this one for um performing this this is a token account just as we've been doing already so now to create an associate account so that we can start storing some uh, tokens on it, you proceed here and say const token account token account is equal to await so token means account. Let's just call it that. So say await um, get get or create an associate at account. An associated token account okay so this we get an already existing one or create a new one for you so that is what this instruction is going to do so I'm going to remove this because I don't need that for now okay so at this point let's you know put the parameters of course the first parameter is always this connection and the signer who is paying for this transaction is definitely the owner the next thing is you need the token main this token account the account which we can find that you know that mentors channel you know token which is this this is it right here so because 
if I bring this here, let me let me do this. If I copy this token account, paste it here, head over there. Okay, so this is the DAP Mentors channel. This is our token account. So um, we are we are trying to. Uh, this is the token account right here. So that's why we we'll put it here. So we need to also specify which token account that we want to create an associated token for this user. Okay. So um, so this here we can call it associated associated token. ATEA, you know, associated token account. Okay, so that would be a lot more, you know, cleaner. So this is the token account that you're trying to create an ATA for. Lastly, you want the recipient. This is the recipient. We want to use this recipient information to create, you know, that associated token account. Now, you should know again, this creating or getting an associated token account involves. Uh, four parameters one is the connection second is the owner the key pair of the owner so that it can be used for signing a transaction you know the specific token that you're trying to uh, create a, a, a associate an ATA for and then the user you want to create that ATA for so that so that those are the items that are required for this so at the end of the day you want to say uh, something simple like token account, you know. Um, so this would be token account created. Okay, so this is the, we say call the ata.address. So ata.address will return the public key of that person. You can decide on not to reuse this, doesn't matter. Okay, so this is it and you want to also create the explorer you know URA. you know how that goes so this for this this is just an address uh, link so I'm gonna copy this right here see uh, this link const link is this address and say ata dot address Okay, it is the address and there's a dot to string. So you want to convert it to its equivalent in string format and we can look it up here. So this is um this is it. So let's try it out. Let's uh, create an associate account for this for this particular user. All right, so run this command, call it es run. And then no start with MPX ES run and zero six. Okay, let's run that and see. Okay, so that was successful. You know all those confirmation thing. So this is the associate token account for this particular user. So this particular user is the same thing as this, but this is a different kind of account. Don't just get this straight. It's very simple. This is an account. This is their main Solana account. But this main Solana account has an associate account, which is this. And this associate account will be used for storing this DAP Mentors channel, you know, uh, tokens. So that's just what it is. So I'm going to copy this URL. Okay. Copy it. Come to this space and enter in here. So this is an address. Okay, so you can see how it looks. It looks different. So this is the main user's account and you can see that this particular person has 10 Solana balance and this is just a regular Solana account. And you know, yep. And you can see even in his own record, it has been placed that there's a certain transaction that happened of recent, which is for the creation of you know an associate token account, which is this here. You see that? Okay, so this is the associate uh, token program that was created for you, and you can see this particular associate token account. This is the mint, the mint uh, 
token. So this is the DAP Mentors channel you know, account, and this is his main Solana account, and this is his associate you know, token account. So those are the different things that you should bear note of here. Okay, so if I come back to that main transaction, okay, you can see that this is this associate token account. This is that mentors channel token, you see, and then this is his main account. These are all his information, and these are the, uh, the transaction that has happened on this associate token account. So now we have this associate token account. In the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to make transfer. Making transfer means moving moving a token from one account to the other. All right. So, um, but before we even do that transfer, we have to create, we have to be able to mint token to people's account, right? So let's be able to mint some tokens into this account. You can see right now it doesn't have any DMC token. So let's put some DMC token in it.